I was on the local government surplus website the other day and I saw this guy come up, so that was interesting. Uh, you usually don't see microphones unless they're something super obscure or something that you haven't ever heard of. I was very interested to see a Shure SM58 in perfect condition. I've sang into this microphone a lot of times over the years, but never owned one. Brand new, you get them for $100, Sweetwater, wherever you, wherever you go, right? Used on eBay, even in beat up condition, you get this thing, these things for like upwards of $55 to $75 used. I scored this for $38, so I was pretty proud. But I thought, what if I tried to paint it gold? That's when I got these supplies at Home Depot today on my way home. And I'm gonna mod this microphone cosmetically, not audibly. It's the next day. I found a different method, so I did a couple of coats. I'm gonna do one more and show you how that works. First off, I think this is looking pretty good. Second off, this is looking pretty good. It's not perfect. You can see the scratches in it from the sandpaper. But anyway, what I did is just held it here and then held it back a little and sprayed it, and that seemed to work perfectly. All right, it's a couple weeks later. I realized that every time I put this mic in my hand, gold paint would come off on my hand. So I went back to the hardware store to uh, get some clear coat. Let's see if that doesn't do the trick. So as you can tell, I'm not exactly what most would call handy. So this is a learning experience for me. Hey, let's recap real quick the mistakes that I made and uh, how to paint the microphone. So all you gotta do, screw it off, take the little foam thing out, and as you saw, it was easy to spray this. I think this was the easiest part because it worked. And then after I put the clear coat on, I've been handling a lot just to make sure that the paint has, has stayed and it's not flaking off or anything, and it's been good to go. So the mistake that I made, I didn't need to get so close at first when I was spraying, and I didn't need to lay out the paper towels on the garage floor and set it on the ground to do um, simply taking this off and taping over the logo and part of the top part of the microphone was good, not tight taping over it because I needed to set it down upside down in order to dry. So one to two light coats of the gold is plenty um, from what I saw. And then uh, I let each coat dry for like an hour. So two coats, two feet away, a light spray just covers it like that, really easy. Now, after that I waited a day and then I did two clear coats. One clear coat didn't seem like it was doing the trick as as I handled the microphone, it just didn't seem like it was protecting that gold paint as much as I thought it should. Now I've been handling the microphone. I wanted to use it for a while to see uh, how well that that clear coat worked. And I think it's good. I think it's pretty good. It feels normal. It doesn't feel like you painted it. Uh, it feels like the actual microphone. Uh, let me know what you think. I think it looks fantastic. Here's some photos that I took. What colors would you like to see? So one thing that I actually did want to mention, like if somebody wants a painted mic, I'd be happy to paint it for you if you've got a few laying around and you don't care like if I screw the mic up because I don't know if this is like gonna last or whatever. But I would if somebody uses SM58s 
on the regular and you'd like a gold one, send it my way. I'll paint it and send it back and then you can put it through its paces, use it on stage or however you use it and let me know after a month or two if the paint's staying on and it's staying intact because honestly, I'm not using SM58s really. Um, I'm using condenser mics in my studio, so that's about it. I do just kind of fell in love with the idea of the gold microphone. So let me know what you think. Let me know what other colors you think would look great. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. That's how you paint a microphone from the perspective of a novice and a lot of trial and error. It took me a few weeks, but uh, we got it done. I'm going to go think of other cool shit to do now. All right. Thanks for watching. See ya. Whoa, the cosmic